Hey, what's going on boys? Welcome back to another video and today we will be talking about how to speedrun max skills in Hypixel Skyblock. Let's get into it. Got pot cookie to maximize XP gain and obviously run all these methods to be able to actually level up the fastest. Obviously you don't have to do them this way. If you don't want to, this will be the most efficient way. I'm going to do this video kind of in an overview fashion, kind of like what I did with the money making method video. And then I went a little bit deeper into each thing in separate videos. So if you guys want to me to go more in depth on any of these methods, methods, just let me know. And I will try to try my best to get that out for you guys. So first one, combat. Uh, F6 runs, Wolf Pet, Gyro, Legendary Grandma Wolf, and buying like experience one pots, that would be the fastest way to get combat experience. Obviously it is rivaled by Ghosts, although F6 runs, or it's just like XP, F6 XP runs, not full completion, but X, F6 XP runs are definitely the fastest way to get combat XP. That's how a lot of people level the G-Drags. Um, a lot of people also do Ghosts because you make a lot of money doing Ghosts as well, but it, again, it is not the fastest. Something I forgot to mention at the start, make sure to do fishing during Marie, obviously, do mining during coal, do everything else during Derpy. Um, I don't ever think you have to specifically target combat, but that's for a different video. The second skill, fishing. Um, the fastest way to get fishing XP with getting a Hellfire Rod, 1010 double hook fishing speed, 100% secret your chance, fish bait, ammonite pet, switch into squid pet. That it doesn't get any better than that. Um, as well as making sure that you are barn fishing to maximize that XP gain, but also not capping the server, remember. Uh, for foraging, it's really simple. Tree Capitator with toil on it. Uh, in Dark Oak Wood, Empty Lobby obviously would be the fastest. With Young Armor, AOTV, Monkey, and Ocelot Rod Swap, you get the Monkey cooldown and then you get the Ocelot XP gain. For farming, Farming is also really simple. It's literally just an infinite pumpkin farm with rancher boots and a rabbit pet. Also, cultivating 10 on a pumpkin dicer is what I'd recommend. Cultivating 10 does give bonus XP. And then the pumpkin dicer is obviously just so you're making a tiny bit of money. Obviously, farming pumpkins isn't going to make you any money at all. But that is the fastest way to gain farming XP. For mining, the fastest way would be getting efficient miner 100 max mining speed silverfish and then you would be mining the gray wool at a couple different spot in dwarven uh bennett arthur gave me cords to the spots that he used i don't actually remember what the cords are otherwise i would give them to you guys in this video if i do happen to get those cords i will drop it in, either in the description or in a side comment so that you guys have that for enchanting it's just doing your experimentation table every day buying the three extra runs through bits every day uh, as well as having a guardian pet really really simple you just have to log in every day and eventually you'll level that up especially because you can get tier 7 and tier max tier and chance that way which is something you should always be doing for alchemy it's just brewing speed pots or weakness pots whichever one you want to go with um during derpy and claiming during derpy because you get the plus 50 percent xp gain uh you should level alchemy pets but it is not required because there isn't one that actually boosts alchemy XP. For catacombs, also really simple. Really just do the highest floor you can with a fast permanent group. Um, the highest floor you can do the fastest will get you the most XP. Obviously doing your daily runs is going to get you more XP. So you want to try to do those on higher level floors. So you get more XP for those runs. Like I try to do my dailies on M7 just so I get the plus 50% M7 XP for me, which is really, really big because I'm only cat of 42 right now. Um, catacombs is kind of the most variability skill. You, you want to go for speed over drops for XP. More runs in a floor gets more XP up to a certain point. I don't remember what point that is. And then obviously your first five runs on a floor gets you a ton, a ton of XP. For class XP, uh, it's the same as Catacombs, but you just have to get a score of Grimoire to get more at a class XP. For Carpentry, uh, I wouldn't recommend. This is something you actually grind out, but if you really wanted to, you would do it during Derpy. You'd make perfect, perfect armor, sell it, and buy the enchanted diamond blocks on Bazaar to make more. For rune crafting, um, you're just killing as many mobs you can as efficiently as you can. You'll kind of, That's a passive skill you level up. Do, do not please, please don't waste your time actually grinding rune crafting. Um, for social XP, it's literally just be a YouTuber and then get people to visit your island. Nah, but in, in actual reality, it's just getting as many people as you can to visit your island. Um, 
because for every person that visits your island it's like 12 social xp whereas if you afk on someone else's island it's one social xp per minute or it's like 1.2 social xp per minute uh so you want people to visit you to level up that uh it does kind of suck because it's on completion bot now and it is a terrible skill to level up i'm pretty sure i'm only social 15 but we will be getting there soon and then for taming taming is just a, a, an extremely passive skill all you have to do is have a pet active for every single method and you will gradually gain taming xp so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment subscribe i stream every single day at 7 p.m central at twitch.tv slash i hope to see you guys there let me know if you guys want more in-depth guides and i will see you guys later have a good one